Okay, uh, I'm Aaron. You'll well, everyone knows this. Uh, I am recording this video because uh, my friend Om asked me to. She wanted to hear a proper American accent. You can make fun of me if you wish because there are multiple accents, but uh, I think I sound rather similar to Heartland. So, uh, anyway, uh, Om, what I am going to, what I will do is I will say a slide number of the PowerPoint you gave me so I can read it to you. Uh, uh, yes, uh, y you are smart, you understand. Okay, ready? Slide 1. Cell biology. The basic form of all living things is the cell and the simple structures in the cell are called organelles, which is carry out different functions. Uh, I would change that to which carries out different functions. Uh, actually, what I will do is I will not say uh, style or grammar corrections. I will just read what you have here. Uh, slide 3. Plasma membrane. The basic structure of plasma membrane is a phospholipid bilayer. Two anti-parallel sheets of phospholipids form. Plasma membrane surrounds the contents of the cell. All cells are contained by a cell membrane. Slide 4. It is made of millions of smaller molecules that create a flexible and porous container. Proteins and phospholipids make the most of the membrane structure. Most phospholipids make a basic bag. The proteins are found around the holes and help move molecules in and out of the cell. There are also proteins attached to the inner and outer surface of the membrane. I'm sorry I'm not reading this uh, very well. Uh, I had to change the font size and it broke a few words and they look strange. I have to look at it a few times to see what the word actually is. Uh, slide 6. Three types of lipids are found in plasma membranes. Phospholipids, cholesterol, glycolipids. You might want me to say 1. Phospholipids, 2. Cholesterol, 3. Glycolipids, Slide 7. Phospholipid. They are polar ionic compounds that are uh, I am assuming here amphipathic in nature. They have both hydrophobic and hydrophilic components. Slide 8. Uh, I am looking at uh, the bubbles you have here. I will read the blue ones first, going top to bottom, and then the purple ones top to bottom. Water-loving head attached to water, hydrophilic head. Water-fearing tail, don't attach to water, hydrophobic tail. Uh, bottom, hydrocarbon chain. Slide 9. The bilayer excludes water from fatty acid tail. Phospholipids are comprised of one phosphate group, one glycerol, and two fatty acid tails. Slide 10. Cholesterol. An amphithetic... Uh, no, that's wrong. An amphipathic molecule. Cholesterol contains a polar group and hydrophobic steroid ring attached hydrocarbon that are parallel to those phospholipids. I guess we use that word a lot. Well, you do. Slide 11. Cholesterol is a component of animal cell membranes. Hydroxyl group makes the head polar and hydrophilic, attracted to the phosphate heads on the periphery of the membrane. Carbon rings. It's not classified as a fat or an oil. 
Polesterol is a steroid. I did not know this. Non-polar hydrophobic tail. Attract to the hydrophobic tails of phospholipids in the center of the membrane. Oh no, the file just crashed. Let me get it open again. Start file recovery. Okay. Fix. Where was I? Slide 12. Glycolipids. Lipids with attached carbohydrate sugar. The carbohydrate portion is always oriented toward the outside of the cell. Protecting... Sorry, that's wrong. Projecting into the environment. They are... So they are source uh they are a source of blood group antigens and can act as receptors for toxins including those from cholera and tetanus. I know those disease names. With your picture glycolipid sugar residue lapid residue uh, sorry that's wrong. Lipid residue I am mispronouncing again. Lipid residue Lipid membrane. Maybe that will help. Uh, slide 13. Membrane proteins. Uh, you misspelled proteins. Uh, you might want to look at that. The types of proteins within a plasma membrane vary depending on the type of cell. Oh, sorry. You did not write that. The types of proteins within a plasma membrane vary depending on the cell type. Both are correct. Slide 14. Each type of protein has a specific purpose. Examples of membrane proteins include ion channels, receptor proteins, and proteins that allow cells to connect to each other. Slide 15. Let me check how many slides you have. 61. This will take me forever. Uh, I will not do the entire video that you want. Uh, the reason why is it would take far too long to upload. Uh, and it would probably take me a couple hours to read it all. Uh, I will just read as much of everything as I can until my mouth gets too tired. Anyway. Slide 15. Two types of membrane proteins. Two types of membrane proteins, peripheral proteins and integral proteins. Peripheral proteins have weaker and temporary connections to the membrane. Some just sit on the surface, anchored with a few ionic bonds, while others may have sorry, while others might have small sections that dip into the hydrophobic section of the bilayer. When you look at the entire membrane, there are more peripheral proteins when compared to the normal blah, Sorry. There are more peripheral proteins when compared to the number of integral proteins. Slide 16. Integral proteins are permanently connected to the cell membrane. They are hard workers and have large sections embedded in the hydrophobic middle layer of the membrane. Slide 17. Transmembrane proteins. All, sorry. All transmembrane proteins contain both hydrophilic and hydrophobic components. Transmembrane proteins are integral proteins that cross the membrane and can act as pathways for ions and molecules. Some are receptor proteins while others form channels. Slide 18. Lipids anchored proteins. Lipid an sorry. Lipids anchored proteins are attached. Uh, that's not spelled right. Let me check how to spell that so I know how to say it right. Oh, it is spelled right. Uh, lipid anchored proteins are attached covalently to a portion of lipid without entering the core portion of the bilayer of the membrane. 
Slide 19. Peripheral Membrane Proteins These proteins are located on the cytosolic side of the membrane and bind to other proteins that are attached to the lipids. Uh, slide 20. Uh, cytoplasm Cytoplasm is a fluid, sorry, cytoplasm is the fluid that fills a cell. Nucleus, cytoplasm, cell. Slide 21. There is a special fluid in the mitochondria. Endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and nucleus. The only two plasms left are the cytoplasm, the fluid in the cell, also called cytosol, and nucleoplasm, the fluid in the nucleus. Nucleoplasm can only be found inside of nucleus. It doesn't have a big, sorry, it doesn't have big organelles in suspension. The nucleoplasm is the suspension fluid that holds the cells chromatin and nu nucleolus. What a strange word. I've not seen it before. Hold on. Uh, I did not realize there was text here. I have to change the color. There. Organelle. Uh... Slide 22. Organelles. Organelles are found in various locations within the cytoplasm. Slide 23. Nucleus. This is the word we had trouble figuring out earlier. All eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells. Except mature or the that erythrocytes erythrocytes contain a nucleus where the cell genomic data sorry contain a nucleus where the cell genomic DNA resides. I think it's genomic because it's genome. Every human cell contains 23 pairs of chromosomes within the nucleus. Sorry, I'm thinking of a joke. <laughs> a defined nucleus that holds the gen... That... A defined... A defined nucleus that holds the genetic code is an advanced feature in a cell. I can't read slide 24 very well. Slide 25. Chromosomes. Chromosomes are the things that make organisms what they are. They carry all of the information used to help a cell grow, thrive, and reproduce. Um, but actually, it's not just chromosomes, it's more than that. Uh, there, there is more than chromosomes. There is also the chemicals that uh, well, it, it doesn't matter. Th this is your thing. I'm reading your thing for you. Chromosomes are made up of DNA. Segments of DNA in specific patterns are called genes. Your genes make you who you are. You will find the chromosomes and genetic material in the nucleus of a cell. Okay, I can't be quiet. I have to say it. Uh, it is more than chromosomes. The chromosomes say what your potential is, but not necessarily that you will fill it. An example, my mother and her twin sister are genetically clones. They are identical genetically. However, one is taller than the other by an one and a half inches. Uh, one is fat, one is thin, one is... Uh, one is a smoker, one is not. One has children, one does not. One is kind, one is cruel. 
there are other things in play, uh, such as, uh, look this up if you want to, Nature versus Nurture. It is a theory that says some different personality traits are learned by watching things happen or by things happening in your life. Other personality traits are part of your genetic predisposition. There is another thing very recently learned that a woman's ambiotic fluid alters biological and neurological uh, chemical production. It, it, it is possible that a woman very afraid of something will have the chemical composition of her ambiotic fluid change and her child will be born afraid as well. Uh, but anyway, slide 26. Cells with two complete sets of chromosomes are called diploids. 46 in a human. Most cells are diploid. Cells with only one set, 23 in a human, are called haploid cells. Haploids are most often found in cells involved in sexual reproduction, such as a sperm or an egg. Haploid cells are created in cell division, termed meiosis. I have heard it correctly pronounced meiosis or meiosis. It depends uh, if it is British or English pronunciation. Slide 27. The things that make a eukaryotic cell are a defined nucleus and other organelles. The nuclear envelope surrounds the nucleus and all of its contents. The nuclear envelope is a membrane similar to the cell membrane around the whole cell. There are pores and spaces for RNA and proteins to pass through, while the nuclear envelope keeps all of the chromatin and nucleolus inside. I think I will go only 30 slides. My jaw is starting to hurt. Slide 28. Not all cells have a nucleus. Biology breaks cell types into eukaryotic, those with defined nucleus, those with a defined nucleus, and prokaryotic, those with no defined nucleus. If they don't have a defined nucleus, their DNA is probably floating around the cell in a region called the nucleoid. Slide 29. Ribosomes. Ribosomes are the cellular machinery for protein synthesis. All cells need to make proteins. They are composed of proteins and ribosomal RNA. A complete ribosome has two subunits, one large and the other small. Ribosomes are special because they found sorry. Ribosomes are special because they are found in both pro prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Those are difficult words. I hope I am saying the right. Slide 30. Growing peptide chain, amino acid, ribosome large subunit, ribosome small subunit. Of the other stuff you have here, mRNA, tRNA. Unless you're supposed to say it different, but I can't imagine it. Um, I would do the other 30, but uh, my jaw's hurting too much, and I won't be able to talk later. Uh, uh, there. Okay, so, yes, thank you all, um, uh, for listening to me this long. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Okay.